Global Times, 21st of October 2022, Chinese Wonder Weapons and Propaganda Program, Artificial Sun Marks New Advancement. The Southwestern Institute of Physics, under the state-owned China National Nuclear Corporation CNNC, informed the Global Times on Thursday that a new development in the scientific study of the next generation of artificial sun had been made in China with its HL2M plasma current exceeding 1 million amperes, setting a new record for the operation of a controllable nuclear fusion device in the nation. Without seeking international verification, Chinese scientists stated that it represents a significant advancement in China's nuclear fusion research, development, and fusion ignition. According to Zhang Vuliu, deputy head of the Southwestern Institute of Physics Center of Fusion Science, a new generation of artificial sun is China's most enormous scale and most capable magnetic confinement fusion experiment apparatus. It uses an innovative construction and control mode that can raise the plasma's ion temperature to 150 million degrees and its capacity for plasma current to over 2.5 million amps. China urgently needs a new energy source because it depends on other countries for more than 85% of its energy and material needs. The device's essential parts are created and produced in China. It is a crucial tool for China to achieve the nuclear fusion energy development leapfrog. According to Zhang, it is also a crucial platform for China to ingest and absorb the technology from the most significant international cooperation project, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor ITER. With the most recent development, the apparatus can now routinely operate with a plasma current of more than 1 million amperes, conducting cutting-edge scientific research. This is extremely important for China's participation in the ITER experiment and its independent design and operation of a fusion reactor. A deal was made in 2006 by China, the European Union, the United States, Russia, Japan, South Korea, and India about the start of the ITER project. It is one of the world's most significant and extensive international scientific collaboration initiatives and the biggest project in which China participates equally. Something China might make use of to obtain an endless source of energy. Due to China's lack of safeguard standards, an international project is hampered. Zhang thinks that by strengthening international cooperation and exchanges, China is also strengthening its weaknesses by learning from the successful experience already gained in the design, construction, and operation of the internationally governed fusion experimental device. This is in addition to contributing to the ITER project.